I've been waiting for this for a really long time. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite things to do in life. We had our dreams to follow. But what the hell went wrong? Okay, headband making is going well. But it's time to get this on. The day is about to really begin. It's more this than me. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, I need coffee. I made headbands all morning, I need coffee. Go, 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 go. Oh, you actually bike, you bike, you bike to work, man. The bike coffee. Okay, here's what's going down. This is Reina. We talked about we talk about life. We just sit here for an hour talking about life, drinking coffee. This is Eric. You would know him from before. Say hello. You, I know you love the camera, Eric. Yeah, I love. I enjoy every minute of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, this entire place was created by Eric. Like the design, all of these things. Eric made this. What is this? What is that? It's a lamp. Yeah, but did you make the lamp? Where did you find it? It's a color. Oh, everything, literally everything in here. This is an old army net from like, I don't even know. Yeah, it's for the camouflage for the army trucks. But basically, we're just spending time now talking about the future of Viejero Outdoor Center. The future is bright. <laughs> Very bright. Very bright. And uh, we're thinking about like packaging together some shirts and hammocks and headbands uh, to support the local shop. So if you see that, go to Viejo Outdoor Center. I'm gonna go outside and do something later, but for now, it's still life stuff, coffee. That's it. Eric, you're, you're so confident on camera now, man. Gabby, the best. He's doing it. He's doing it. I'm giving you the look. You're giving me the look. I, I gave him a gallon of Biai's wine, so we're friends, it's okay. It's not for you guys, let it go. Yes, this is where the Keg Enduro City Dump was. And I heard they're actually doing something new in this area and I wanted to come check it out quickly uh, before I head away into a, kind of a late afternoon adventure. But, yeah, to my left is basically the area where people I think used to, or still do sort through garbage and maybe some people sell stuff or organize it or look for things. You can see they're doing some stuff ahead of me now. Uh, weighing on the scale right there and I think this guy is gonna cross the street now taking the garbage uh, yeah there he goes across to this area here on my left but the city has been doing something here and making something and I'm kind of mind blown by it so I just want to quickly show you it
the Upper Zayas, no? Upper Zayas? Yes. Oh. Uh, Carmen Bar? Carmen. Ah, Sakta, okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Brad. Hey. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> they're all super friendly. Uh, I don't actually know exactly what they're doing with the garbage, but did you just see that on the drone? Down over here, I kid you not, I've been here before many times in the past. This all used to be a huge area of garbage and dump. Literally, everything here was just garbage everywhere. And now it looks like they're turning it into a eco park. They're really doing it. They're making a keg indoor eco park here. And what I was told too is that they're going to make it into some sort of commercial and public space. I don't know 100%, but I do know that I, <laughs> the dump is moved <laughs> and they're building something on it. So. Interesting development, Kagi and Dioro. I am gonna head up towards Uptown, out to the Bukid because it's getting later in the afternoon. I wanna go for a run and I finished up my life there and so I figured why not take you on a little trip around to see if something's new and get some exercise and feel healthy. The Kagi and Dioro Eco Park. It was once a dump. I'm being Brad! I'm being Brad! <laughs> well, if you didn't know, you can actually take a back road up past the dump that leads you behind SM Uptown. That's where I am right now. But we're gonna carry on. Uh, this afternoon, I'd like to go for a fresh run somewhere in the Bukid. So we're gonna head towards Boongen and Libona area. And along the way, if you see anything interesting local, some food or something, we can stop, try it out. Uh, but yeah, just want to get some exercise, be healthy, and enjoy the neighboring municipality uh, of Bong and Libona, two municipalities. Officially crossing over right now from Kegi and Jiro to Bukidnon. Once you hit this bridge across the Kegi and River, you are in a new province. <laughs> wow, cool. Okay, they have animal quarantine checkpoints. I believe the word nanka can also mean lanka or jackfruit. This is, I thought there's a staircase that's gonna go down. This is an old bridge and a new bridge. It looks like they're trying to finish this road. Uh, I had never driven down this way before from Boongen. You kind of zigzag down into this kind of valley or canyon, I should say, and you end up just before Labona at this old bridge, just take a look at it, it's pretty cool. Again, you know when it rains really heavy, uh, the water in Kegian Dioro really rushes down. I don't know the name of this river, this is not the Kegian River. It's another one that kind of weaves its way in between Bukidnon and uh, Masamas Oriental, but Yeah, really interesting because this is actually the second kind of bridge I had to pass through uh, and I saw up there as well, there's like a dam 
I didn't realize there's a dam on another river section. Lots of farming, lots of fruit trees, lots of giant bamboo. Some more giant bamboo up there. Just an interesting little drive. I never knew you could loop around through this kind of valley area. So what I'm going to do now is I know there's a bunch of restaurants up in Libona. So I'm going to get changed. I'm going to drive up the side of this freaking whatever it's called. Oh, I'm not going to step in the mud. I'm going to go for a run so I can eat lots of food later. To the two brew. <laughs> you definitely might need four by to go up here. I got my running gear on. This is seriously the best place to run. Even in the afternoon at like 3.30, temperature is awesome. Uh, Do you get a yeah, of course, you have a photo to see you. Thank you, have a great day, have a great day. Car's right there, 5k run. You know, I say this sometimes, but I really would never vlog like this before. There must be short videos of just summaries of experience, but, uh, I just think there's some sort of value in showing everybody just everything that's raw and you know all the places here. I mean, people used to be afraid to come here, uh, just up into Bukidnon or even just to Mindanao in general. So I just want to show you what everyday life is like. And you know, I can leave my car on the side of the road, go for a run. It's all good. Beautiful ridges. I've checked out those before. It's all good. And uh, whoo, yeah. I hope you appreciate it. If you're bored, that's okay. But uh, I just want everybody to see that life is life here. And regardless if I vlogged or not, I would have came up here and gone for a run. I just went a little bit of a unique way to show you what it's like. So, so hungry, seriously. Beautiful tractors over there. Everybody always asks, what happens to the store across the street from me and Brett? Well, I'm going to show you now, and we're going to eat. Yes! Dad. Hello! <laughs> yeah. What's up? They, they moved over here. Let's get some food. Look at this, it's so funky, I like it. It's just a simple little store. Is this, this no, I have a question, Zaline. Is this your house? No. This is our old house. Ah, so you yes. moved your yeah, store. I grew up in this house. So you moved your store to your house. Yes. That's cool, wicked. <laughs> and uh, the pandemic was like super hard. I mean, imagine paying rent and like another you know, place and then trying and nobody coming in because you couldn't and yada yada yada. Yeah, exactly. So that's why. This is where they are. Now you can order here. Or you can take her. So I'm gonna eat lots. <laughs> Cool. I like it. You're, you're really you're really local if you live in Nazareth. Like Nazareth is like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kegian. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like Divisoria, Divisoria and Nazareth. Yeah. It's like a gang war, you know? <laughs> Growing up fighting, yeah, Kerala is it? Kerala, the old Nazareth, Divisoria. Like old, it's like old school Trova. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 
What's the corner? This is 15th and 11th. 11th. This is a vegan bun. I don't know how you say it, vegan or vegan. Is it vegan? Vegan. Vegan? It's a vegan bun, I just found that out. This is the burger, that was the poached eggs. I'm gonna tell you something cool in a sec, but I'm gonna eat first. But the vegan bun is cool too. I like it, yeah. I finished eating, it's super good, but here's what's the coolest thing ever. These tables right here are literally the old cabinets from the other store. This here is, what, what is that? What's it mean? This is from the counter? Yeah, that was from the counter. That's from the counter. And then this giant glass window is the giant glass door. They basically recycled everything from the old shop to be able to make this shop. Hello, hello friend. <laughs> So, you gotta do what you gotta do during the pandemic, no? You gotta adapt. Yeah. They adapted everything. They took everything they had in the other shop and reinvented it into new furniture to make the new shop. That's it. <laughs> Approved. Thank you for visiting us. <laughs> I'll be back. Woo! Yeah. Alright, so thank you guys. See you yeah. soon. Salama. I got Versace! Joke. Salama. <laughs> <laughs> they, they give you the best, uh, they use old magazines and newspapers to wrap their takeaway. I got some extra food to bring back, hello. Um, well, we started at an Echo Park and ended up at an Echo store. That's kind of cool. Life is good, Keggy and Dioro. Happy to see that the store is still going. It's really tough guys, like they had to shut down across from us. We used to eat there a lot, me and Brett. That's Celine, that's her place. Support them, look them up, they can do delivery. They have the El Fresco outdoor area. And you get Versace. Versace on the floor. Oh my gosh, that was awkward. Okay, see you soon.